Lincoln, you bet it, but um, up there is the India Club, sort of part of the uh, Strand Continental Hotel, and it's been there since the uh, the 1940s. Bit of a stalwart of um, I don't know, sort of faded grandeur. Anyway, let's go and take a look. So that's the uh, the bar section downstairs. It's got a nice sort of very convivial atmosphere. It's sort of a um, bit of a feel of a kind of student union bar, that sort of thing. And the uh, the restaurant is one floor up. <laughs> Probably fun to me, but uh, one of the amazing things about the India Club is, um, despite them having a bar on site, they're also still doing bring your own. So um, um, it's a rare opportunity to have uh, some Indian food and some really very nice wine. Chili burgies. And, um, mini dosa. The solar dosa. You can't hear a word I'm saying, can you? Chili burgie. So there we go, the, um, the India Club. Um, I think there's something a bit special about that place. Uh, it, it has just a very particular atmosphere. Um, I think it was quite an important centre for uh, more like a social club in its early years, like in the 1940s, 1950s. It was um, apparently threatened with closure a few years back, but uh, happily it's still alive and kicking. So uh, there you go, the India Club. The, uh, the GoPro is probably going to struggle with the light levels from here on, isn't it? But um, let's take a walk down the Strand slash Fleet Street to, uh, to Blackfriars. London's filled with these uh, dead tube stations, these uh, former tube stations. This is the Strand. Um, apparently would have been on the, uh, the Piccadilly line, it's slightly hard to imagine that. It's a badly lit shot of St Clement Danes. This is probably terrible footage isn't it? The, the GoPro hates it when it's dark and I didn't bring a light attachment because I thought I'm going to just be sitting in an Indian restaurant. I'm not sure if that's a Christopher Wren church, but I have a um, unvalidated theory that in fact Christopher Wren started the Great Fire of London because uh, who else benefited? when it came to rebuilding the city afterwards. He got all the, uh, the sweet contracts for all the new churches and uh, a lot of other bits of urban planning. And uh, nobody else profited really from the Great Fire of London, apart from Christopher Wren. Hear that, but the uh, church at St Clement Danes was ring the tune of um, oranges and lemons, which of course includes um, the bells of St Clement's. Although I think it's um, I think it's contested which St Clement's that's talking about. Oranges and lemons 
sing the bells of St Clement's. I think there's more than one in London, isn't there? There's a St Clement's Danes and there's um, the other one. I can't remember. On to Fleet Street now, and that's the, uh, the old Bank of England, the pub. I'm not sure that it ever was, in fact, the Bank of England. It's this sort of bizarre Italian edifice. Of course, uh, Fleet Street, most famous as the uh, once home of Britain's newspapers. And that's um, that sort of Art Deco edifice over there. Is that possibly the, I don't know, Daily Express? I forget now. Uh, but I think there was one of the newspaper offices. It's hard to tell because the uh, the ground floor is uh, is boarded up. Presumably now luxury flats. Kind of small detour to the alleyway at the back uh, of um, Fleet Street, St Bride's Alley or something. Is it called? There's St Bride's Church over there. It's uh, pretty atmospheric with the uh, the back of the old bell down here. And. Uh, down here is the uh, is it the St Bride's Theatre. It's one of the only uh, theatre performances I've ever walked out of. It was uh, what's that terrible Tom Stoppard play? Is it Gilding Cretz and Rose? Real, uh, you know, from uh, Hamlet or whatever. Those side characters, Gilding Cretz and Rosenstern, Rosenkratz and Gildenstern, whatever they're called. Those uh, two guys from um, Hamlet or whatever it was. He made a whole play about them. God, it was dull. So very, very dull. Yeah, previous video. That's the last place you can see the River Fleet flowing, but it's uh, not normally a very safe place to stand. Down there, can you hear it? The River Fleet, I'm about to get run over. Sort of half imagine this might be locked, but um, <clears throat> apparently not. Very open-minded of London, allowing one access to the beach, even uh, at, what is it now, nine o'clock or something at night. Terrible shaky footage as the GoPro protests vociferously about the terrible low light conditions. But I'm having a nice time. I thought I'd have one last quick glass of wine. So, um, yes, funny video. Tweedy goes for a curry. There's probably going to be a bit of a, a gap from here on in. I've had uh, this wonderful <laughs> period of free time while my um, family, of, who I of course dearly miss, uh, have been uh, off uh, on holiday over the uh, school Easter holidays, but, um, uh, but they're back imminently. So uh, the, uh, the recent onslaught of videos um, of me, you know, doing sort of a wild campy type thing every weekend is probably going to uh, to, 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 to slow temporarily. But um, hopefully, as the uh, as the summer approaches, you know, there'll be a bit more uh, freedom once again. So, anyway, strange camera angle. Again, I'm obscuring St Paul's. Thanks very much for watching the uh, strange London-based video, and I'll see you on the next one.